Good evening and welcome to Five a Day with Jay. I am your host, J.R. Murdoch. How are you this evening? Thank you so much for joining me. Tonight, I'm going to talk about numbers and where my career is currently at. One of the things I like to say often when I'm restarting this, because I've restarted this so many times, is that I'm starting from zero. When I say that, I'm not starting with zero platform. I'm not starting with zero books out there. I'm not starting with zero anything except sales. For the month of April, I sold zero books. Month of March, I did sell six books and I had some Kindle Unlimited page reads. That's always very nice. February, I had some sales as well. So when I say starting from zero, going into May, I mean zero sales. My books are in the tank, plain and simple. I was just scrolling through the rankings and the rankings are in the high millions, let's put it that way, for a majority of my books. A couple of the anthologies I'm in, they're doing well. They're still doing making sales and, and doing great. I hope you go out and purchase them. All the authors that are in them are great authors and deserve your support. That said, back to the numbers I'm going to give to you here. Now, starting from zero by sales only, I've been working on growing my platform to get ready for this launch. I wish I had been tracking my numbers all along. One of the things I have mentioned recently is that WordPress, recently I went over 100 followers. I am convinced wholeheartedly that by blogging every single day, it's getting attention. I went from at the beginning of the year having 80 some odd followers to now I'm up over 100 followers. That's a good increase. I, I think that's a wonderful thing. But let's run through the numbers and we'll talk about them. First number is Twitter. Twitter, I have a very large number of authors that follow me. I wish it was readers that were following me, but I have a lot of authors that follow me. And I follow a lot of authors and other celebrity types out on Twitter. That said, Twitter is my biggest following that I have, even though I'm confident that very few people are reading my Twitter or interacting with my Twitter. I know of five people out of the 1,727 that are following me that interact with my content, maybe six. Not a lot of people interact with the content I put up on Twitter. When I make a blog post, that blog post goes across all of my media. All of my media, meaning it's going to Twitter, it's going to Facebook, it's going to Tumblr, it's going to LinkedIn. Now that I'm thinking about it, I need to include Tumblr and LinkedIn with my numbers. So the numbers I'm going to give you will be incomplete, but for the most part, LinkedIn is more of a professional resource. The people that follow me there are not fans of my work. They're either business associates or people that I know professionally. Tumblr, just start with zero. I got nobody following me on Tumblr. It, Tumblr, the only reason I'm over there is just, it's a social media platform. It hooks into WordPress very easily. Therefore, I link it in. So if you want to follow me on Tumblr, follow me on Tumblr. If you're following me on any other social media, in any fashion, all of it ties through most of my social media. If you're following me on one, odds are you're getting most of my content. Unless you're on something like Instagram or TikTok, you're not gonna see a lot of what I'm posting. So I recommend following me on one of the larger platforms if you do wanna follow along. Uh, follow the blog, the blog can send you emails. There's lots of different ways to get it from the blog, YouTube, etc. My author page on Facebook, but let's, let's keep going through the numbers. My second largest following is Facebook. Again, Facebook is not necessarily fans of my work. You can follow me on Facebook. I'll send me a friend request. I'll friend it right back. A majority of the people that I'm friends with on Facebook are actual friends, family, friends from the pod, you know, the podcast era, a lot of friends from there, a lot of author friends that I know, and other people 
in the communities that I follow that I've gone and friended or have friended me. I've done many go-throughs of my friends and I've done purges before to remove people that they're like friends of a friend and I don't subscribe to their views and I see no reason to be friends with them and have them litter my Facebook posts with things that I don't want or need to see. That said, if you enjoy what I talk about, I don't post anything political or religious on my blog or in my Facebook or any of my social media. If you do and I don't like what you're posting, I'll remove you from my list, but by all means you can follow me on other social media. Next largest following is Instagram. Oh, I'm sorry, Facebook. We have 701 people on Facebook. Instagram, 314 people follow me on Instagram. Hey, hey Instagrammers. A majority of these people are people that I know on Facebook, but I also follow a lot of bass players, musicians. That's where I got started following people on Instagram. A lot of bands. That's what I do on Instagram. I, I That's who I follow on Instagram as far as what I post. If I post a picture, you know, if I take a really good picture that I like, a sunrise, whatever, I'll post that on Instagram. That Instagram post will also go to Tumblr. It'll go to Facebook. It'll go to Twitter. So I'll post it on all the social media when I do something like that. Instagram, I'm not very active over there. I need to work on that. I should be more active on Instagram. Try and get a gram following. Uh, who knows? Moving right along. TikTok. TikTok is my next most popular. I'm up to 177 followers on TikTok. When last I checked, I was at 50 something on TikTok. TikTok is really increasing. Therefore, I'm going to begin working on expanding my reach on TikTok. I'm going to start recording just like I'm doing five a day with Jay. I'm going to start getting that phone, grab, grab the phone, do a little quick one minute video, drop it on a TikTok every day. Got to keep the content flowing to keep people coming back. So I'll begin doing as I blog every day, I will be doing TikTok every day just to get a little, little snippet out there just so people go, Oh, Hey, there's that Murdoch guy. Again, it's all about expanding platform, and that's what I'm working on. I'm working on expanding my platform. Now I'm getting ready to launch. Need to keep on working on expanding that platform. Blog subscribers, as I mentioned, we're up to 104 blog subscribers, and that's people that subscribe through WordPress. They go to the blog, subscribe via email. They're subscribed in some fashion to get my blog content. On average, I'm getting five to 15 views per day on my blog, which because I'm blogging every single day, it's causing a lot of my back content to get viewed. That's how this works. Isn't that amazing? The more you put out there, the more people come to the blog. This is why I'm actively blogging every single day to keep that streak going, to keep people coming back and saying, hey, what's going on? What's happening? It's all out there on the blog. So moving right along, my Facebook author page. I have an author page. I don't share it very often. I should probably do that. I should probably change my Facebook link on all my pages to go to my author page. That way everyone can just like the page and boom, you're subscribed to all of my authorly content on my author page. Again, if it goes on the blog, it's going to my Facebook page. You can follow one or the other. You don't have to follow both. You'll get more content uh, get the same content multiple times if you do. Again, this is all subscribe how you like. I'm throwing it all out there, seeing what sticks, let people subscribe where they will. Uh, out on there, we've got 56 people subscribed to my author page. That's not bad. I could do a lot better. Again, I think I need to promote that a little bit more, especially given the number of people that follow me on Facebook. Hey, I need to let people know. YouTube. YouTube is my next most popular media site. And with YouTube, we're up to 40 subscribers. When I started this journey back in October, I was in the teens with followers. I'm now up to 40. To me, that is incredible growth. I'm very excited about how quickly that got to 40. That said, I'm still getting one, two, three views 
per video. Again, I fully expected the videos to take a long time to catch on. I really did. If you're watching, I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're enjoying the content. I hope you're hanging in there. Again, open, transparent. That's what I want to do with all of this content I'm putting out there. The newsletter. The newsletter is my next most popular. I am i hadn't checked this in some time. The last time I checked my newsletter, I had, I believe, 20 subscribers. I'm now up to 31 subscribers. If you subscribe to my newsletter, I will send you a free ebook. Yes, there's a list you can choose from. If there's something different you would like, subscribe and send me an email, j at ofgnomesanddwarves.com. Say, hey, Jay, I subscribed to your newsletter. I didn't see a book, the book that I wanted as an option. Could you send me this book instead? It's on its way. I will get it out there to you. You'll be subscribed to the newsletter. For the people that are subscribed to the newsletter, you'll be the first to know when new content comes out. That's the first place I'm going to post it is to the newsletter. I'll post it the evening before and then the day when the content becomes available. That's when I'll do everything else. But the newsletter people will know first. And finally, Anchor. Anchor is, I'm converting these YouTube videos to audio. Anchor distributes the audio version of these videos to Spotify, to Apple, to multiple different sites. That way I don't have to go and do that myself. I've got two subscribers. To the two of you who are listening, thank you so much for subscribing. I'm so happy you're here. I think it's awesome. Again, all of these are getting my reach out there, expanding my platform, giving people the ability to find me in many different ways and means. If there's something different you'd like to see on any of these platforms, let me know. I would love to hear it. I would love to have the feedback. Drop me a line and say, hey, Jay, I'd like to see this. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see the other thing. Would love to do that. Would love to interact with you and see what's going on, see what's happening. Now, as I said, numbers, we're doing numbers. Sales, big goose egg for April. I'm, I'm used to zero months. I really am. That said, I've got 14 books currently published. One of those books will become unpublished soon. Two books I unpublished that will be republished. The one that I'm unpublishing is Murdochian Tales. If you got a copy of that one, it's going to change dramatically in both the ebook and the print version. So if you've got a print version, hang on to it because it's about to change. I'm getting ready to launch Giant Robot Planetary Competition book two which will bump us up to 15 for the month of April. Plus there will be two short stories coming out in the month of April as well. That'll give us three new pieces of content that will be published. I'm gonna keep track of short stories published and books published. Books published, we're at 14. We're gonna bump up to 15 and we're gonna have two short stories. Content, content coming out. That said, I've got five books ready to go uh, I'm, it's a lie. I've got four books ready to go. A fifth one almost ready. As soon as I finish it, those five will be ready to go. Plus, I've got three short story compilations. Eight books ready to go before I even hit the ground. Isn't this exciting? And I've got 36 short stories. Short story every other week? That's a lot of short stories. That gives a lot of time and a lot of runway to get this thing to take off. It's my commitment to write a book every other month and two short stories per month. That's the goal. That's what we're shooting for. So right now we're gonna be publishing two short stories a month. We're gonna be publishing an ebook one month, a print book the next month. That way we keep the content flowing out. As far as the short story compilations, when the short stories run through the nine, as soon as there's a hole in the schedule, that's when I'm dropping the ebook for the compilation and then the following hole in the schedule will be the print book for the compilation. What does that mean for you, the reader? What that means is when I'm looking at my schedule here, yes, there are holes in the schedule. For example, May, there's three pieces of content coming out in May. Three pieces coming out in June, let's see. 
nope, I lied. There are four pieces of content coming out in June. There'll be a print book, two short stories, and then an ebook. See, this is how the months are going to roll. Then coming into July, three pieces of content, two short stories and a print book. Once we get to August, that's when things start getting interesting. Uh, August, oh, sorry, I lied. It's two short stories and an ebook. But once we get to September, there's two short stories, three short stories. There's three short stories in September. There's an ebook, a print book, and then we go into October, and again, print book, short story, ebook, e uh, ebook, short story. Four pieces of content, one every week. So there will actually be eight weeks, eight weeks, nine weeks, nine weeks where there's content every single week. Then there's a whole. But again, as far as the main content, the main series and story in the VNA shipping universe, book every other month coming out. But when I find a hole in the schedule, it's when a compilation is going to go in there. So there will be content continuously flowing. That is the goal. That's what I'm pushing for. I want to get this ball rolling and I want to keep it rolling. And I, I don't want anyone to feel overwhelmed or obligated to go purchase everything that I put out there. If you do, bless you. You're awesome. You're helping the cause. If you don't have the capacity to do that, there is absolutely no shame. If you don't have the funds to purchase something and you're like, hey, Jay, I would like to read that, send me an email. I will get it to you. All I ask is an honest review on Amazon or any other site, Goodreads. Leave a review. Let me know what format you like. I will send you the book. Am I in it for the money? To a degree, yes. Yes, I would love to get a writing career off the ground. In order to do that, I need help and I need feedback. Otherwise, I'm just throwing books out there and hoping for the best and sitting back and waiting for the checks to roll in, which may or may not ever happen. Engaging with my community is the best way to do it, which is why I'm doing these videos, which is why I'm pushing so hard to get my platform to grow and expand. Open transparency, that's what we're going for here. I've been rambling for a long time. There's the rundown on the numbers. There's everything that I have available to give to you right now. As I said, zero sales, zero Kindle Unlimited page reads. That's April. That was the month of April. You've now got the numbers. I plan on towards the end of every month, probably on a Wednesday, giving numbers. Hey, here's where we're at. Here's what we've released. Here's how many books we got out there. Here's the platforms and how we're growing. Let's see how this takes off. Again, I wanna be open and sharing this content so that everyone can follow the journey, so that I'm not living in a bubble and watching all this myself. I'm hoping somebody finds this interesting. I'm hoping somebody finds this educational. And I'm hoping that as we do this together, it's exciting for everybody. Everyone is engaged and passionate about the goal as I am. I'm trying to get things rolling. I really am. I'm doing the work, putting in the time, trying to get things done. This has been Five a Day with Jay. I have been Jay. You have been awesome. Until next time.